watch the kids while you're at the store. Yeah, you don't leave anything that li that's a living thing in a hot car. Look before you lock. I've had to, and it makes me mad every time I have to do that. But I don't wait when it, when a kid is in danger or a pet's in danger. I'm going to save that uh, that a pet's life. I don't care if I go. I can care less about that. And I have I have and if I have to do that, I turn my phone into a body camera. Yep, I turn my phone into a body camera so that I can prove why I had to do that. And they and they uh, and the judge ruled in my favor. Had to do that, and so I, I basically use that argument to turn to turn the case right back against the plaintiff. Yeah, we're about uh, a little over ninety degrees. A little over ninety. Degrees. morning we're going to have breakfast and have breakfast. So I think we'll be good. And I have a few things I can munch on. Uh, uh, I have a few things I can munch on. Want to see how hot it is in your car? Look at my thermometer, and that's how hot it is in your car. And I have a broken open back window. I have a, a back window that's broken, and it's still got 150 degrees. I mean, that is incredibly dangerous. That is incredibly dangerous. And I have my air conditioning running on, and it's still 90 degrees inside. It's still 90 degrees, 90 degrees inside the car. So now you understand why I need full blown, the full blown high, full blast air conditioning when I drive. That is extremely dangerous. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That makes me mad. This light, but the very next one. The very next light. The very next light. Yep, the very next light. It's called being very situationally aware of the problem. Audubon Park, United Methodist, is right up there. Yeah, so the bad thing is, is about coming to the breakfast and the food bank and coming to church here in general, there's no place to park. Yeah, there's no parking. So I have to uh, sometimes. 